For the fourth year in a row, the Cambria County Commissioners have presented a balanced budget with a zero tax increase for people who live in the county. Sounds great, but according to County Controller Ed Cernick, it is not necessarily a good thing. Maria Miller was at this morning's meeting and has those details. Maria? Well, Marty, this is something that Cernick has said for the past few years now, more so since the current commissioners took office. As county controller, he works firsthand with the county's finances every day, and he says the debt keeps mounting as the county keeps borrowing, and he says they just don't have the money or the means to pay it all off. I have not had anybody call me on the phone and say, boy, you're having a tough time with the county. Go ahead, raise my taxes. There's no question there's no one who welcomes a tax increase, but Controller Ed Cernick says there's not much more of an option in Cambria County. Everybody can walk around and say, we haven't raised your taxes, we haven't raised your taxes. But at some point in time, you've got to pay the piper. And the only ones that are going to pay the piper around here are the taxpayers, because there's no other relief. The budget itself for 2015 is just over $64 million that the county CPA says reflects at this point a $25,000 surplus to begin the new year. But Cernick says the budget doesn't include the $8 to $11 million worth of outstanding bills that continue to pile up or the county's tax anticipation note. Until you can start receiving your tax revenues, you need some something that's going to tide you over. This year, the loan is seven million dollars, two million more than last year. That still needs to be paid off by this coming July. The snowball is getting bigger. Okay. The credit cards are getting maxed, and it may be maxed right now. It's a very tough issue without raising taxes. Will that continue to be the case? I hope. If not, yep. we'll do what we have to do to run the county in the best possible manner we can. Now that budget passed today with a two-to-one vote. The loan commissioner, uh, Tom Trenisky, opposing his stance is that the county could have made more cuts in different areas and used resources within rather than hiring outside agencies for consulting work um, like in areas like health care. Reporting live, Maria Miller, 6 News.